jams are a microcosm of life. And here we are in a traffic jam on the A14. We've just been up to Coventry to collect our son's belongings from his uni digs. And we're now on the way back. And hey, we are in a traffic jam on the A14. So three things, okay, about life and traffic jams. First of all, traffic jams teach you patience. Well, perhaps they don't. Perhaps they just show you how impatient you are. But it's always that kind of feeling when you get stuck in a traffic jam that you could be doing something else, that you could, oh, you know, you, you, be, you could be going down the road faster, which is what we want in life often, isn't it? We want to just get there. We want to kind of do more stuff. We want to we wanna, um, achieve more. And then there's that time, isn't there, when you're in a traffic jam and suddenly you speed up and you think, yeah, I'm out of the traffic jam and you're going into third gear and fourth gear and then you suddenly slow down and stop again. So that's false hope and life is a bit, you know, sometimes we have false hope. We have high expectations, but that's followed by false hope. And then, of course, there is the envy. Look at the other side of the road. They're going at 70 miles an hour <coughs> and we're going at three. So there's that thing about other people other people just achieving more than you are and kind of going faster and you think you know what's wrong with me and what's right with them life's not fair it's not fair so maybe you're feeling like this at the moment impatient false hope life's not fair but life's a traffic jam well join the club we're stuck okay and my final thought is this why call it jam because actually i like jam i like marmalade i like preserves why call it jam i really don't know